How do I add a text parameter in Jenkins? Here's today's starting point. I have a Jenkins LTS controller version 2.346.2. And attached to this controller, I have a Linux-based agent. Down in the description of this video is a link to a gist that has the final Jenkins file that we're going to be creating. So let's go ahead and start creating that Jenkins file. If we go ahead and click on New Item, we're going to create a new item, and let's just call it text-job. We'll select Pipeline and click OK. Now, within a pipeline job, since we know that we're going to be adding a text parameter, I could create the parameter just by using this project is parameterized. And I could click on Add Parameter and select in the multi-line string parameter, which is the text parameter. But I don't want to do that. I want the full definition of my job within my Jenkins file. So what will happen is when that job is read, then it will set up the parameters for me as we're looking at them right here. So let's uncheck this. Let's go ahead and get started with the definition. We're going to start with our Hello World. And now we need to generate the parameter for this job. Let's click into Pipeline Syntax, click on Declarative Directive Generator, click on Agent, and then go down to Parameters. From here, click on Add, and let's select Text, which is the multi-line string parameter. In our case, what we want is the name. We're going to name it mText. I'm going to leave the default value blank. It's up to you, but since I'm going to be creating a multi-line text value, a default doesn't make a whole lot of sense. And for the description, I'm going to say, what is your story? Let's click on Generate Declarative Directive, and let's copy this snippet of code and bring it back into our job. We're going to paste this in right between our agent and stages lines. Move it over here just to clean it up a little bit. And then finally, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and replace my Echo Hello World with an sh echo m text referencing my params.m text. So in this case, let's go ahead and click on Save. And before we leave, actually, I want to do a little bit of cleanup here. These single quotes are not necessary. So let's get rid of the single quotes. And now what we have is echo m text colon. And then we're saying dollar sign brace params. So the params is referencing back to the parameters dot m text, which is our name. So let's go ahead and click on Save. And you'll notice here that it says Build Now, but I have a parameter. So how do I enter my parameter? This is a chicken egg problem that has to be solved by running the job once or manually going in and setting up the configuration for the job. I prefer to go ahead and just let it run once, let it be what it is, and then from that point forward, I'm good to go with my parameters. So in this case, let's click on Build Now. And we'll wait for it to complete which will take just a few seconds, and it's saying echo M text, and there's nothing there because we didn't enter anything. But now notice the build now is now build with parameters. Also, if we take a look under configure, now we see that the project is parameterized, has our M text name there along with the description, what is your story? So let's go back to text job, build with parameters, and the story is today is Monday, and it was a good day. Okay. Let's click on Build. And if we take a look at the output of two, we can see that mText echoes out what I typed in. If you have any questions or comments, you can reach out to us on Twitter at CloudBees. If this video was helpful to you, give us a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed to CloudBees TV yet, why not? Take a moment, click on that subscribe button, and then ring that bell, and you'll be notified anytime there's new content available on CloudBees TV. Thanks for watching, and we will see you in the next video.